I wanted to ask some very important questions um, about manufacturing, but uh, I think people would be quite surprised from a different perspective uh, with what you're doing with your module manufacturing, and that's, you know, you recently opened a new highly automated module manufacturing plant, you know, obviously in Germany, right. but what's significant about this new facility? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it is actually a major milestone for the company, um, and um, I'm glad to have the opportunity today to, to talk a little bit about that. Um, it is our, it's really our entry into a fully industrialized manufacturing of PV solar panels. Um, we have engineered uh, the entire production line together with our industry partners, uh, equipment suppliers and automation companies. And so uh, we, we think it's, we, it really provides us with a leading edge, uh, both in terms of quality uh, and long-term reliability of the product itself, yeah. but then on the other hand also um, uh, lowering cost, manufacturing costs, our added value, so to speak. Now there's something else as well that, that's, that's special about this particular facili facility from, a, from a, a carbon neutral standpoint. What, what's oh, yeah. what's the, uh, the reasoning behind that? Yeah, well, the, the special thing is that we, we really, uh, we, uh, the, the whole facility is emission free, so to speak. Uh, we uh, generate uh, uh, all the, uh, the electricity we need uh, and we, uh, we make sure that all the, the energy we consume is, is uh, uh, generated carbon free. And what about recycling efforts uh, within, within the plant? Yeah, we obviously use it, uh, the, the, the usual recycling practices. Um, there is, as everybody understands, I mean, recycling is basically uh, um, PV, I mean, the, the, the foils and things like that, and we're obviously recycling all of that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Now, uh, does the advanced uh, technology and equipment partnerships uh, that you have to have with this type of facility actually you know, achieve lower production costs? I mean, is of the, course, have you demonstrated of course, this? Yeah. Of course, uh, it, it has to and it does. I mean, that's, I mean, it's actually at the end of the day, it's the whole purpose of the exercise, right? I mean, we, uh, the, the industry as a whole is committed and, uh, and, and mandated to lower production costs year by year. And um, as uh, the industry matures, uh, obviously it uh, becomes more and more challenging to uh, generate at least those nine to 10 percent uh, production uh, cost or production efficiency increases. And, and uh, when it comes to module production, that new facility is the, 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 the milestone for us that, that will guarantee further growth and, and, and all these good things that, that need to happen in order for us to be successful, absolutely. I, I'm assuming as well that, that, that not just lowering costs, but there's also the side impact which helps uh, cost, for instance, improved yield. Uh, better consistency of the product. Are you seeing a difference compared to, you know, your previous manufacturing systems now that it's Absolutely. fully automated? Absolutely. And when I say cost reduction, that's all included, right? I mean, the, as a module manufacturer, we are we are used to work with uh, slim margins, uh, but um, and and there is only so much you can squeeze out of that. So uh, yield improvement is actually the biggest single. Uh, screw you can you can turn and uh, in order to to reduce cost absolutely. Now um, another interesting thing: um, why is France an important market for your particular company? Was well, as, uh, as in general, uh, every market is important of course. Uh, because and is, is, is every market is particularly interesting because of its uh, um, incentive policy. And as you know, I'm sure you know, uh, France uh, has a special incentive on uh, uh, in-cell, in-roof in systems, and uh, this is what we have. Uh, we, uh, so we, we have a very uh, big focus on, on the French market, and we have a, a great product for the French market, so that gives us an outstanding opportunity to um, uh, to, to, to get a major market share in France, and so it's very important. Well, look, I mean, look, looking at your, your, your megawatt shipments to France, that's, you, you are a significant you know, market provider, you're one of the leading suppliers into that market. I would hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, despite the um, current economic and business environment, um, do you still plan to you know, increase sales in 2009, con considering the industry, uh, you know, problems that the industry's had in the first, first quarter of the year, but are you still expecting to grow, grow revenues this year? Um, we, um, I mean, we are, we are expecting to grow um, uh, uh, volume to begin with. Um, and we are pretty confident about that gro volume growth. 
Uh, we'll need to see how that actually turns out in terms of, of revenue because of the price erosion we're experiencing right now. I think the price erosion has now come to an end. Right. Um, and, and, and that is, um, when the show is over here uh, at Intersolar, I think everybody will have understood that uh, price erosion is at the end, uh, yeah. prices are where they are. They are, they are great prices. They're, I mean, but competitive ever, prices very, in that very sense. Competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has uh, over the last couple of years. It has never been a better investment to go into PV solar, and so we think uh, that's that's all good news for the industry. And based on that, we think uh, we'll, we'll we'll be able to recover. Um, I, I mean, we see recovery already from the first quarter. Second quarter is decent. Um, there will be more recovery. Um, uh, the second half this year. And what, um, I mean, outside of obviously Germany and France, um, what other markets uh, do you expect to be strong uh, this year? Well, we are, uh, our focus overall is Central Europe. So beyond Germany and France, it's Italy, it's, uh, uh, it's Belgium, um, it's Czech Republic, it's also Spain. Uh, Spanish market is, uh, is down from last year, but it's still, a it's, it's still a market, so yeah, we see Portugal coming up, uh, Greece. I mean, those. I mean, we are we are right now we are focused in Europe, um, and we are this year we are also getting ready for the U.S. so that uh, we have a good foothold uh, when the, the market, as we see, the U.S. market will will really kick off next year, so that we are well positioned there. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank okay. you.